It's four o'clock, time to tune in yourself and tune out the outside chatter. Today we're going to visit our throats and we're going to do some, bring our consciousness, our intelligence to our throats and clear out the throat chakra. The throat chakra is blue, consequently I'm wearing blue. It's the seat of expression. So it's how you ask for what you So they spin, and they spin like a flying saucer, not like a front, front to back, but more above the ground. And so we can think of the chakra when we, uh, up. first we're going to get rid of the detritus, then we're going to shine it up as spinning. It could expand. So the throat chakra also extends to the neck and shoulders, okay, and um, it enters a little lower and leaves a little higher. So this chakra doesn't float like this so much. E, e. So you can think of spinning your throat ch chakra and saying the word or the sound, the bija mantra, e. E, e. Okay, so let's inhale and on the exhale, we'll repeat the clearing sound for the throat chakra, E. So let's inhale and E, 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 And we'll do it again. If you would like to feel your throat while you do that, go right ahead. And just sit with that release for a moment. I was reading recently because, you know, I, I often get jaw tension, but one of the ways to reduce jaw tension is to reduce, um, lower your voice. So I noticed saying that E when I went lower, I felt a bit more relaxed and E. So E relaxes the throat. And one more time, big inhale, we'll repeat the clearing bija. E, 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 And when you use the breath, um, you release the tension, the anxiety, the toxins, the stress in the exhale. It's like ham, like the Easter ham. Ham, ham. Okay, so we'll do that together. Three inhales and ham, ham, ham. And uh, <clears throat> we'll go on with the lesson after that. So let's inhale. Ham, 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 ham. And you can feel that sound in your throat. In yoga philosophy, the throat is like a little torso. It does have a navel. So often you relax around the navel to relax the tension in the neck. So when we recite 
the bija hem for clearing or for shining the chakra, think of it relaxing the navel of your neck. Okay, let's inhale. Hem, hem, hem. Inhale, hem, 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 hem. And just rest with the vibration, feel the loosening of the jaw, the lengthening of the neck, the softening of the navel of the neck. It's right over the thyroid gland, which uh, regulates all your metabolism here. Okay, so if you're sitting on the chair, you can follow along. And when we do anything that requires being on the floor, I will give an example for the chair sitters that they could access the uh, movement or asana and receive the same benefit. So we're going to just start with neck roll. So drop your right ear to the right. and. Slowly come down to the center and go back to the right. And remember to keep the navel of your throat soft. Be aware, we're bringing our consciousness here. And slowly roll to the center. If you feel any discomfort, don't go so far. Don't push your ear so far down. Okay. And come back up. And this time, Keep your ear towards your right shoulder, drop your shoulders, drop your shoulder blades, and reach out your left hand. Relax the jaw, and come upright. Now we're going to drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Just roll right back to upright, keeping the throat open. And now lift your head. When you lift your head, also lift where your t-shirt hits the back of your neck. So you're not crunching the cervical vertebrae so much as stretching the front. Okay, so let's look up and keep the shoulders flat widen across the collarbone and you can even move your jaw forward if you like an extra stretch and now for the lion's pose which is a lot of fun when i teach everybody's reluctant to do this and some of my classes are in corporate settings so nobody likes to do it but here we all are in the privacy of whatever room we're sitting in. big inhale ah So we're sticking out our tongue, really thrusting it forward and exhaling at the same time. So big inhale. Ah. And sit with that a moment. Big inhale. Ah. Okay, we did the line, and we're going to move on. Ustrasana. So there's going to be three ways that you can do that. 
So first in the chair, I'll show everybody in the chair. We've done this before. You just lift up and lift your neck. Squeeze your upper back. For those of us wanting a bit more challenge, up between your knees, shoelaces down. Hold the chair, squeeze the block, lift up. Again, making sure you lift from the nape of your neck, not collapsing your neck back. So lift up, push down on the chair. And those of us who want to go a little further, you can take your two blocks, put them, and lift up. So in this pose, move the navel back, sternum back, throat up. So think of lifting your yellow chakra up and out, okay? So wherever you are, whether you're on the chair, whether you're holding the chair, or you're going for the uh, bit more challenge, let's all do it together. So, method, and so from the skin at the bottom of the knees, follow the skin up, 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 to your chin, light up your throat, and then cast the blue light to the ceiling. And relax, we'll just repeat. wherever you are, whatever pose you want to hold the chair. I'll demonstrate holding the chair this time. Inhale, move the skin up the front of the body to the chin. Shine the light to the ceiling. Keep the shoulders low. If you have the shoulders up, you're clogging the neck energy. Also move the navel back so you don't crunch the lower back. And come on down. The next pose we're going to do is supported shoulder stand. For people, you're going to sit in your chair and put the block or a book here and press the head and the top of your spine against the block. Chin comes slightly down. Those of us on the floor, there'll be two options. Okay. Start on your back. your hands up. So this is placed at the bottom across your sacrum, across your pelvis. The tailbone is like maybe an inch hanging inch. Okay? Wiggle together. Stretch the back of the neck. You want to relax here. Okay? Relax here. For some people, this may be enough. So the intelligence, consciousness, Body proprioception is on the neck today, okay? If you want, bend your right knee, left knee, right leg up, left leg up, okay? Ideally, there's a right angle between the torso, and you feel the upper back, the back of your armpits, your triceps, your wrists, and the back of your head. People on the chair, you want to press the back of your head and the top of your spine, or wherever the block is on your back. 
You can alternately press your back and back of your head against the wall. So in this pose, if it's difficult to bend You take your folded blanket, put it behind your heart, bend your knees, drop the top of your head. Okay? For any yogini that would like a little more, you know, who has practiced this pose, you slide your elbows back, lift your head, and lift your legs. Take the pose, whichever one you would like. I think I'll stay here. It feels good. So you want to press the head down. The shoulders are not on the mat. You can also do it with the knees bent. So I'm pressing with my forearms, wrist, and hands, lifting my heart, dropping the top of my head on the mat. If I need support, I have the block behind my heart. Down, lengthen the back of your neck. Let's roll from side to side. If you're on the chair, just roll your head side to side. So I'm rolling my head. And then stop. A long exhale, inhale. A long exhale through as if you had a straw in your mouth. Little purse slip. Inhale. Inhale. Purse your lips. Inhale. Press your lips and nice slow exhale and one more time. Big inhale. Purse your lips. And you can either come up or stay on your back if you feel relaxed. And we're going to do one. Isometric. Press our knuckles against our jaw and resist the jaw down. Inhale. 
inhale. Inhale. Inhale. So if you're not on the floor, get on the floor now on your back. Lengthen the body. Roll the neck a little. Squeeze the shoulders together. Extend the legs for your final. A short Shavasana, but this time is a good transition time between whatever you've been doing during the day and evening is approaching. Maybe you'll go out for a walk. Maybe you'll chop carrots. Maybe you'll watch the news. Who knows? But uh, you. Have